Hello, I have Allie here. I'm going to show you Allie's training. So I have a place, a dog bed with a bolstered edge. I'm gonna put it down here. Allie knows when she sees a place that we're gonna do some training. And Allie knows she is always rewarded for getting on her place the first time. Good girl, Allie, place. Allie has been taught to lie down by me taking one finger, pointing at her nose, and then pointing the ground in front of her and asking her to lie down. I want Allie to sit from that position. I'm gonna cup my hand and draw straight up from her nose. Allie knows hand signals and voice commands. I'll demonstrate again. Point at her nose, point at the ground, ask Allie to lie down. Cup your hand and draw straight up. Ask Allie to sit. Good girl, Allie. Allie has been taught to come to me when she sees a closed fist. That's how I convey to Allie that I want her to come where I'm at. Allie knows when she sees a closed fist, her job is to come over, put her nose on my fist, and then sit afterwards. Sitting is the canine equivalent of please. I don't have to ask her for that portion of the behavior. She just knows it's required. I rewarded her for returning to her place like a very good girl, and then I'll demonstrate the touching again. Here's the fist, the puppy, the polite nose bump, and the polite sit afterwards without me asking her to do so. Good girl, Allie. Allie has been sleeping in a wire kennel at night. If I want her in this wire kennel, I'm gonna open up the door. If she didn't walk in, I would pat the bedding, reward her when she's all the way inside, and shut the door. Good girl, free puppy. Bup, bup, bup. Allie has always ridden in a plastic kennel in the car. The principle is the same. Allie, I'm gonna help her get out here. Come on, bup, bup, bup. Principle is the same. I'm gonna open up the door, pat the bedding, reward her when she's all the way inside, and shut the door. Good girl, free puppy. Allie knows to sit during certain circumstances without me asking her to do so. And those include when she sees her collar, an easy walk harness, a leash, a dog bowl or wants attention. I'm going to demonstrate that by showing Allie an easy walk harness and wait for her to come over and do the appropriate behavior. Very nice. Once she comes over and sits politely without me asking her to do so, I can slip the harness over her head. The rule is when I have a collar, a leash, or a harness, Allie has to sit close enough to me that I don't move my feet. Because if I have to take one step towards her today, tomorrow I'm going to be taking two steps, and by the end of the week I'm going to be chasing a puppy named Allie around the house. So if she doesn't sit close enough to you, you can make a little kissing noise. That reminds her to move closer. You also want to remember to work with Allie in a small area with less distractions in the beginning. But that young lady was perfect. And the last thing that Allie knows, Allie knows when she sees a dog bowl, if she wants the contents of that bowl, there's a behavior she must provide. I'm gonna show Allie the bowl, wait for her to sit politely without me asking her to do so. And then I can reward Allie with the contents of the bowl. There she is, your very beautiful girl, Allie.